Sarah Farrell with UT Extension in Cannon County, and I work with the 4-H program. And this is Bella. And so Bella is a second grader at Short Mountain Elementary, and she is going to be my assistant today. And all across the state with the 4-H program, we have been doing a curriculum called Classroom on the Couch. And so this is, um, we've decided to do a program highlighting some of the 4-H projects. So I'm gonna start with getting our water nice and warm. We are going to make a smoothie for you today, but we have to wash our hands first. Mm -hmm. How long do we have to wash our hands? 20? 20 seconds. That's right. With what kind of water? Warm, warm, warm water. All right. We need soap. All right. We got to wet our hands. We got to use soap. We got to get our hands good and wet, right? Get all of this good places. All right. So you're going to sing, right? No. Oh, no. no. All right, we're gonna sing happy birthday twice. We ready? Uh-huh. We're gonna sing happy birthday to Sarah and then to Bella. Ready? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Then happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella. Happy birthday to you. then we are going to be making a smoothie and the smoothie that we are going to be making is this is for the 4-H project with the health the healthy lifestyles project so there are 27 4-H projects and yesterday we highlighted the 4-H performing arts project and so today we're going to highlight the the Nutrition, Health, and Fitness Project. And Bella really likes smoothies, don't you? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite kind of fruit? Pineapples. Pineapples. So we actually chose, this is a pound of fruit, and you can get any kind of mixed fruit, but this actually has pineapple chunks, which is her favorite. It also contains sliced strawberries, peach slices, and mango chunks in there. And you want to make sure that you are looking at nutrition facts and looking at your labels. So we are going to pour this in here. That's a lot. I know. It is a lot. All right. And so this just came um, out of the freezer. And so you want to make sure that you've let it set out just a little bit so you're able to um, still have it a little frozen but it can still mix in really well, okay? Next, Bella is going to have, um, what kind of yogurt is this? Blueberry. So she and her brother loves blueberries. Yes. And so this is actually some Greek yogurt. And so the Greek yogurt that we have is it has a lot of protein in it. So we're actually not going to put a protein powder in here because this already has 11 proteins. So when you go to pick out a type of yogurt that you need, the yogurt that you want to pick out has a lot of different protein with that. And the protein that we actually chose um, with the Greek yogurt, it seems to be a little bit better for you. You want to look at your total fat, your calories, and then, of course, how much protein it would have on there. So the protein has 11 protein on there. And so this is a smoothie for Bella and I. We're actually going to share this smoothie. She didn't know that we were going to share. No, I didn't. <laughs> you want to finish raking that in there? Sure. 
While you finish raking that in there, I'll be So you finish raking that in there and I'm going to get our milk. And you just continue to record her raking that in there. There's the milk. Okay, so for the milk, we've already, um, the, the yogurt was about three-fourths of a cup of yogurt, and we are needing to pour some milk in there. Ooh. So before we do that, let's go ahead and get this set up. And, oh, we forgot. So, this is optional for you, but Bella likes things sweet, right? Yeah. What second grader doesn't want things <laughs> sweet? So, um, instead of putting more sugar or anything like that in there, um, we are going to just use a, a sweetener. And so, this is about a fourth of a cup. And I don't normally use a whole fourth of a cup in there. So we're gonna put that in there, okay? So just to sprinkle that around in there. She likes things to be really sweet, but that way it's not as sweet. So we didn't use an entire fourth of a cup. No. We're gonna lock that in place. And we need a little bit of liquid. Yeah. And so um, we're just using 1% milk, so it doesn't have as much fat in there. And we just have a fourth of we actually just have a half a cup here. A half? Mm hmm Just a half a cup. All right. Now, all right. Are we ready? You do it. Me do it? Yeah. But you love doing this part. Okay. You hit that. good to go and so now it is time to enjoy your smoothie so we appreciate you listening to Bella and I come back over here Bella she's ready to enjoy this she's already getting her straw so this has been Sarah Farrell with UT Extension and Bella, Bella from Short Mountain Elementary School teaching you how to make a nice snack or even a replacement meal. This is going to be lunch for her. She decided she wanted to have this for lunch today, I think. So we appreciate you listening and join us next time.